Now, while a lot of the Gamescom Best of Show awards are pretty specific, the Heart of Gaming Award is really about celebrating and recognizing something really special that's making the world of gaming a better place as a whole. And while games and studios are eligible to win, so are individual people, institutions, concepts, or even words. So choosing a winner is probably a daunting task for the judges because it can be virtually anything. Here are the nominees for the 2020 Gamescom Heart of Gaming Award. And the winner of Gamescom 2020's Heart of Gaming Award goes to Super Crowd Entertainment for their Indie Arena Booth virtual experience. Indie Arena Booth is one of the biggest and most beloved booths at Gamescom, and it was a massive collaborative effort between a staggering number of indie developers and Super Crowd gave them all the tools they needed to make their booths truly special. Joining me right now to accept the Heart of Gaming Award, we have Wolf and Valentina of Super Crowd. How y'all doing? Hi, Akim. Thank you all so much for joining me. So my first question is, what, what inspired the uh, Indie Arena booth that you all created? Do you want to start, ladies, ladies first, I guess? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's start with you, Valentina. Indie Arena booth, yeah. I mean, we were doing this th since 2013, um, and we grew from 40 square meters to 1,500 uh, square meters last year at Gamescom. And uh, this year, we thought we had to do something to pr represent indie developers. And so we created this uh, amazing online multiplayer. And yeah, I think what inspired us most was like to help indie devs from all over the world. Yeah, I think like in general, um one of the worst days in my uh, professional career was the day when Gamescom was cancelled on the yeah. physical side, but the same day the Indie Mega booth needed to resign um, their work, which was an inspiration to all of us at the start for us to represent Indies in Europe. And um, that made us realize we need to step up our game and help uh, fight this pandemic with hope, give the developers something to do especially the devs that don't have the big bucks, that don't have the big money, uh, that, are, that are in countries that are not yet that well connected. And um, I'm so amazed with our, I think we have 185 games inside of the India Arena Booth online world uh, from 50 nations. And um, it's so cool uh, because it was very affordable for the developers due to the help of our partners. So uh, yeah, I just want to say thank to the whole team, all the people working on this product, all the developers building the booths themselves. It was just a gigantic four months super game jam sprint and I'm so happy that, that uh, people were able to enjoy it and um, saw what's possible inside the world of video games. We have a little bit of hope. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it seems like, you know, quite a, a large undertaking. How, how were you guys able to, you know, get the uh, companies involved? Like, what was that process like? Um, um, so basically, it yeah. was like. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I you mean, you can start because our <laughs> basically our submission was already open by the time the Gamescom was cancelled. So it was more the question of that the developers trusted us so much because we didn't announce anything before June what we were actually planning. Mm. So, but they will keep submitting <laughs> their games. Uh, I think that was the interesting part here, uh, and pressure was high. But then our first trailer showing that we had this uh, game game planned. I think everybody was like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" <laughs> and yeah, um, so so yeah, I think it was a very interesting, different different process this year. But we tried to be always two two weeks ahead of any announcements of any things. And uh, yeah, busy times, but uh, finish line um, check mark. Yeah, and yeah, you made it. I mean, you you all are the heart of gaming uh, this year. Uh, also, I want I want to you know ask you about this. Like, uh -huh. it's it's such a, an interesting look and feel. Uh, how how do you all feel about you know having you know these little avatars, people walking around uh, in in this particular space that you all created? What what does that what does that feel like? 
Yeah, it was amazing uh, to just walk <laughs> around and also discover the booths on our own. And it was so funny what people actually did there. They like, uh, we have this little chat function and people played games in our game, which doesn't have gameplay yet. Uh, but uh, we'll definitely, have, it was it was really nice to see what the people did and how they're like, oh, let's meet at booth uh, so-and-so. And, -so. and uh, they played around with all the avatars and uh, it was it was just a, chill place to hang out and discover a lot of stuff and it was actually um also that there was this one moment which i think i missed the most without having any any conventions i spotted a couple of my friends that i've been developing with like games forever and i would just click in on the other to see oh that's that guy awesome wow i haven't <laughs> seen each other for six months and we just started chatting chatting <laughs> and talking and you know, it's not the same as giving each other a hug and all this type of stuff for real convention, but it felt so good to connect again with somebody that you don't see every day. And, and, and I think that, that was really, really neat to have that function inside the game that it actually works and uh, people, people used it. Yeah, well, you know, hopefully next year we'll all be able to come together IRL um, for Gamescom 2021. Uh, Valentino Wolf, I want to thank you all so much for joining me. Thanks so much and yeah, thanks thank for you. the wonderful award.